As you're building your wardrobe, one of the things I think you really need to have and that your wardrobe is simply incomplete without is a great leather jacket. It's a classic piece of outerwear. It looks so cool and it makes you feel like a badass. Now, there are a variety of styles of leather jackets out there and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing three of my favorites and showing you how to style them. I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and if you are looking to dress well and have more confidence, you have come to the right place because on this channel, I will teach you how to do that and I will show you how to do that. Now, one of the things that I think holds people back from purchasing a quality leather jacket is that they're kind of expensive. So, you know, if you're put off by that and then you start looking at cheaper, more fast fashion oriented brands, you know, something more inexpensive and if you're like me, you start thinking, this isn't the quality that I would want to wear. The reason that a lot of these luxury branded leather jackets are so expensive is, yes, you, you have the name brand, but then you've also got the long supply chain of distributors, wholesalers, and retailers, and then when you add the marketing costs on top of that, you come up with a really inflated price for a garment that Honestly, it shouldn't cost that much. That's why I was really excited to discover the Jacket Maker, today's video sponsor, because their mission is to make quality leather jackets accessible to everyone. And there are five key things that the Jacket Maker promises to you as a consumer. Number one is that their jackets use the finest raw materials. All of their jackets are made with full grain natural leather as well as YKK zippers. And because the leather is such a high quality, you will see less joints and panels in all of their jackets, which makes them feel better when you wear them and gives them an overall much nicer appearance. Number two is their attention to detail and craftsmanship. All of their products are handmade one at a time by one craftsman giving you an attention to detail that you will not find in any mass produced garment. Number three is fair pricing. With the Jacket Maker's direct to consumer model and just in time production, their garments come in at one quarter of the price of what luxury brands would sell them for. Number four is sizing that fits everyone. Now, I understand you hear the word inclusivity thrown around a lot these days, but it is something that this brand takes quite seriously. All of the Jacket Maker's outerwear is offered in eight standard sizes from extra small all the way up to 4XL and they also offer a made to measure option for only an extra $30. And number five is actually discovery and personal expression. So the Jacket Maker does offer a bespoke service and if you have something in mind that you know maybe you've had difficulty finding off the rack, the Jacket Maker can do that for you. The prices are absolutely fantastic and the quality is also exceptional. So if you've been looking to add a leather jacket to your fall winter wardrobe, I highly recommend checking out the Jacket Maker. I've got links down below in the description to the Jacket Maker website, as well as all three of the jackets I'll be featuring in this video. And speaking of the jackets I'll be featuring in this video, we're gonna jump into that right now. I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of each and then jump into how I would style it. Up first, we've got the classic Francis B3 Bomber. One of the things I love about this is the leather finish. It's distressed, which gives it a really unique look and actually makes it appear very similar to a double face leather. Inside, it is fully faux fur lined, which is, of course, very soft and warm. And you've got that classic B3 style with two outer pockets, waist adjustment straps, buckled collar, and the rollback cuffs. Now this is a really easy jacket to style in what I would call a kind of really classic way, like black t-shirt, black jeans, black Chelsea boots, but I wanted to do something a little different and here it is. So as you can see, I went the complete opposite direction and opted for whites and creams. I've got a cream colored turtleneck paired with some white denim, cream colored socks pulling in the color of the turtleneck and also creating some contrast with the jeans and then finished off with some suede tassel loafers which balanced the whole look nicely with the color of the jacket. Whites and lighter colors like this in the winter always to me appear very elegant, refined and a much fresher take on styling such a classic leather jacket like this. And of course to finish it off 
A bomber jacket really does need a big aviator style pair of sunglasses. Without these, looks kind of incomplete to me. Up next, we've got the Lavendard Leather Biker Jacket. Now, I love this jacket's simplicity. If you're looking for a kind of do-anything, very versatile leather jacket, this is the one I would choose. It's an oil pull-up leather finish, which has a nice kind of two-tone shade, and it's cowhide, which means it's thick and durable, going to last for a very long time. I talked about it being simple. It's got two outside pockets and one zipped breast pocket. I like the size of the collar. And then inside, it's got a quilted lining for some extra warmth. Now again, with each of my stylings of these leather jackets, I tried to do something a little different than you would expect. And here, I wanted to show you how you could incorporate a leather jacket with some of your dressier outfits. And that is why simplicity matters, because a leather jacket with lots of extra zippers or quilting just isn't going to match with a more dressed up look, whereas something like this does appear a lot more seamless. Speaking of simplicity, the outfit itself is very simple. White button up shirt, charcoal flannel pants, black grenadine tie, and black leather oxfords. I did deliberately keep the colors darker to play into the expectations that you would have when you see a leather jacket. This to me, you know, as we're coming into the holiday season is a great look for any sort of holiday party that you may attend. Jacket number three is what is called the Sheriff Jacket. This is made with really high quality suede. It is extremely soft and supple. It's also made with very large panels, which is a testament to the quality of the leather. It's got a high collar, two outside pockets, two inside pockets, and is fully lined with a faux fur, which makes it just incredibly warm. For this one, I decided to go with a brown tonal look. I've got kind of a coffee with milk colored cashmere crew neck sweater, cream colored cotton trousers, brown leather belt, brown socks, and brown loafers. Dressing tonally like this is one of my absolute favorite things, particularly in the fall and winter time. I love to play around with different seasonal tones and much like the first look, I think it projects a casual elegance that really helps you stand out. Want to thank the jacket maker once again for sponsoring this video. Reminder that I have links down in the description to the jacket maker site, as well as each individual jacket featured. Now, they also have tons of other styles, so be sure to click the link to check out their complete selection.